What's up, Rangers? I'm back today with something a little different today. Today, I am doing a tag, and my tag is my top 20 craziest movies. Today, I'm going to share with you my in my top 20, and if I tag you, I will leave it below, and <clears throat> let's get started. My first movie on my list for my top crazy 20 craziest movies is 30 Days a Night. This was a crazy movie. This movie was based out of Alaska. Of course, it goes dark for 30 days there, and the unthinkable happens. I'm talking vampires, and you know what happens after that. I recommend you see this movie if you're into movies like this. This was a crazy movie. So much fun. Part 2, not so good, but this one was awesome. Next on my list is a classic Stephen King movie, Children of the Corn. Love this movie. Um, I'm an 80s baby. I got lots of 80s movies in my collection. I love this movie. This movie was so awesome, so different. It's about a bunch of kids that uh, kill up a bunch of adults in towns. They're killing up towns of adults, basically. This is a, you must see this. If you haven't seen this, you should see it. It was awesome. Part 1, 2, and 3 was pretty awesome. Next on my list is The Ruins. It was a crazy movie. These kids go out of, uh, out of the country and they have so many problems. Um, the unthinkable happens, of course, and I swear, this I watched this movie and I was itching the whole time. You definitely should see this movie if you don't mind. It's nasty. It is a nasty movie. Next on my list is Death Proof. Death Proof, but it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. Love Quentin Tarantino. Every movie he makes, every movie he makes is so crazy. So many different twists. It's crazy. You should definitely check out Death Proof. This is actually one of my favorite movies. It's starring Kurt Russell. Love Kurt Russell. He's awesome, and. He is actually tripping out in this movie. He's acting a fool, chasing girls, doing the unthinkable. This movie was a trip. I wasn't expecting anything that was happening. You should definitely check out this movie. This is definitely one of my top craziest movies. Next on my list is Monster, starring Charlene Theron and Christina movie. This uh, Christina Ricky. Wow. This was an awesome movie. She played this part well. Let me tell you, this girl turned inside out because Charlene is a beautiful, stunning woman, and she played this part so good. This is a really good movie, true story about a woman that's serial or killing, but I mean, at watch, as, you ask, as you watch her struggle, God, I can't even talk, you just feel sorry for her the whole movie this movie was freaking crazy they these two ladies in this movie did their job it was freaking awesome next on my list is a rob zombie movie yes i give this movie three dump three thumbs up this movie was awesome um if you're into profanity and violence and crazy madness you will like all his movies. This movie was freaking awesome. It's about a, a crazy family. And I, let me tell you, this family is turned up. They are doing way too much. This is an awesome movie. I love Sherry Moon. I love Rob Zombie movies. This movie was a trip. Definitely should see it. It was crazy. Next on my list is The People Under the Stairs. Classic, 80s classic. I'm an 80s baby, so I love 80s movies. This is a go-to movie. I mean, this is a Wes Craven movie. This is something you want to see. It's so different, and all I'm going to say, you don't want to be in that house. Next on my list is Blade. Of course, it's a vampire movie. If you haven't seen Blade and you like vampire movies, you should definitely check out this movie. This movie was really good. It was different. I liked it. Um, it was pretty crazy. Next on my list is a classic. Who doesn't love John Candy, Uncle Buck, The Great Outdoors. I recommend these these movies for everyone this is a these are family movies they're funny they're hilarious you know when you watch a movie you miss something and you're like oh i don't remember that part yes that is one of these movies this movie is hilarious these are the movies where you you got people in your family and they say the whole movie as you watch it and you're like no 
Next on my list is another 80s movie and it's Fright Night. If you haven't seen Fright Night, I used to be so scared of Fright Night when I was a little girl. This was a awesome, awesome movie. I love it. Part 2 wasn't so good, but this was awesome. Definitely should watch it if you're into old, scary movies. Next on my list is a crazy movie and one of my favorite movies and it is License to Drive. Awesome, fun, funny movie. So much fun. This is a movie you can watch over and over because it was fun. Good family movie also. Love Corey Haynes and Corey Feldman. They have so many childhood movies together. They're so much fun. Next on my list is Macaulay Culkin's Home Alone 2. Awesome movie. This is the only Christmas movie I feel like you can watch all year long. This movie was awesome. Who doesn't love Macaulay Culkin? I'm sure most of you have seen this. Next on my list is another classic. This dude is so funny and is Beverly Hills Cop. Who doesn't love Eddie Murphy? This is one of my favorite movies and of course it is an 80s movie. I'm an 80s baby. Love this movie. Freaking awesome. Yes. Who doesn't love Eddie Murphy? He plays like 15 characters in one movie. Next on my list. Okay. I seen this movie for the first time five years ago and I had to have it. And this movie's old. This is from like the 1970s. And it's starring Jodie Foster and it's called The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane. And this movie was so crazy. It just had me like at the edge of my seat the whole time because I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen. And it's Jodie Foster and she's like 13 in this movie and she looks crazy. And she lives in the woods in a house by herself and it says on here, ask her no questions and nobody dies. You should definitely see this movie. It was a trip. She looks crazy in this movie. You definitely need to see it. I love it. It was awesome. Love Martin Sheen. He's awesome. Next on my list is Population 436. It's about a, it's a movie about a perfect town where everything's perfect. They have no crime and the population never changes. Definitely need to watch it and find out why. Next on my list is a go-to movie for me. This is like a comfort movie for me. And it's Big Trouble Little China starring Kurt Russell. Love this movie. This movie is so fun. It reminds me of that game, um, Multiple Com Comeback. I think that's what it's called. This movie was freaking awesome. Love this movie. This movie is fun. It can be a family movie. It's freaking awesome. Next on my list, it was completely a useless movie, but it was so funny. It's just funny. It just is. And it's Napoleon Dynamite. Love this movie. There was no real points besides they were a slow play, a slow town, and it was awesome. It was weird. It was crazy. Next on my list is another movie, and it's called The Lottery, and it's about a perfect town. And this dude goes back to the town to bury his father and finds out so many family secrets and the town secrets. And this movie is a trip. This is one of my favorite movies. It's about, or he when he goes back to the town, the town has secrets, and the, the town's perfect, they don't have any crime, but every year someone has to be sacrificed, and they put everyone's name in a bucket that lives in the town. If your name gets picked, you are going to get killed. They are going to kill you. And the whole town has to per participate in the killing, which they all pick up rocks and stones and they stone you to death. It doesn't matter if you're a grandma or a child or a man or a woman, they are going to kill your ass. So this is, I recommend this movie. It's actually a Lifetime movie and it's good. I love it. Next on my list, it was awesome, starring Lethal Meester, and it's The Roommate. Who doesn't? This movie was awesome. She did an awesome job. Totally different turn from uh, her show, Gossip Girl. She did. She was freaking amazing in this movie. She plays crazy very well. I recommend you see this. It's kind of like single white female, just upgraded. Next on my list is Hostel. Another Quentin Tarantino movie. This movie was freaking crazy. If you don't mind gore and violence and oh my god, it's crazy. If you don't mind all those things, you would love to see this movie. And it's like I said, it's always some crazy twists in every movie Quentin Tarantino makes. And 
I recommend this one and part two was freaking awesome too and it's vice versa some kids go on a trip but they're girls this time and the unthinkable happens oh gosh okay they're like stealing kids and killing them torturing them purposely with people watching it's freaking crazy Next on my list is Skeleton's Key with Kate Hudson. It's a hoodoo voodoo movie in the bayou. Scary, I'm scared of hoodoo dolls or whatever. I am scared of all that type of stuff. This movie was scary. It was so different. I love it. I like watching it. Especially when it's raining. I don't know why. I just like watching it. Next is another 80s classic. And it is Christine. Oh my gosh, the killer car. If you haven't seen this movie, you definitely need to watch this. And if you're young and you're a teenager and you've never seen this, you should watch this movie. This movie was a trip. Very, this was a crazy movie. Okay, I was looking for red Chevys, I think it is. Everywhere. Mustangs. Whatever, I don't know. This movie was crazy and it was made in the 80s. It's awesome. There were so many good, awesome 80s uh horror movies or yeah next on my list is bad teacher cameron diaz love this movie it's hilarious if you haven't seen you should definitely watch it i guarantee you will get some laughs out of this boy it's hilarious okay lastly on my list is texas chainsaw 2 this movie was crazy if you haven't seen you should definitely watch it it's different from all the other um, versions of it, and it's an 80s movie too. One of my favorites. It's actually hilarious. So, yeah, definitely check that one out too. So, that is it for my top 20 craziest movies. Might have been more than 20. If you guys like this video, leave a comment down below because I will definitely do another one. I have a serious movie collection. I wanted to do a favorites video also. And, um,. Yeah, look, look down below to see if I left your name, and guess what? See you at the next one.